so very I'm hearing never again something you've been through allowed yourself to go through you're saying to yourself never again I feel like um, the lesson the depression and now this confession is leading you to another place in your life but never again is what I'm hearing so let's go ahead and dive into your energy Berg, and see what this never again is this never again energy is definitely pointing to the fact that you've learned a valuable lesson I believe for your growth your spiritual growth of where you are and what yeah you got victory and stuff yeah that's what's up like you're feeling different now you I feel like you're stepping into your authentic self after the situation like you found out your your life purpose your life meaning like what you want your goals your ambition who you are what you're willing to accept they ain't caring connections let me show you what's in reverse <laughs> That wanted to go in reverse. These two cards. Care and connection and blossoming abundance. They wanted to go in reverse. So I feel like you're disconnecting from something that you held that was very valuable to you, Berg. But let's see what's up. What's up with Bergs? What's going on with Virgos? What's up with Virgos? And why is this energy of never again here? Maybe you're not allowing people back in your life, too, Berg. Maybe you've not only learned your lesson, but Jesus wanted to flip over in the deck, too, Berg. So Jesus is definitely with you, beloved. God, oh, it came back out. Oh, wow. He's... Oh, my goodness. Broken heart, corn eucopia, and caring connections. Whatever this was... That split your heart in two like this. That left your heart crying. I mean, this heart broke so bad, it cried. And that's a lot of damn heartbreak. Anytime you make the heart itself cry, right? But it looks like it's healing, right? Yeah, your heart was broken. But it looks like it's healing. And like you've got a lot of abundance and maybe even new love coming in. But the question Beloved wants to know, Berg, is do you believe in love? After this heartbreak. I wish I knew that share song. Because that's kind of the energy that's coming in. Do you believe in love after love? Because I feel like there's someone coming in. That's going to treat you. The exact opposite of. The situation you just went through. Like this person. Is going to be very attentive. To your emotions. Um, to you as a person. Your likes your dislikes. Like there. I feel like it's going to be a powerhouse connection. I just hope that this reading will end up saying that this person is still lingering in your energy. Because after this type of heartbreak, to have the actual broken heart card come out. You the first one, Bert. Why, why you got to be the one with the broken heart ass card? <laughs> you know what I mean, Bert? Like everybody else. Like Aries, Taurus, Gemini had people hating on them. You get to cancer. They all sad and shit. You get to Leo. Leo person don't know what to do. They want Leo so damn bad. And then we get to you and you got a broken heart, Bird. Let's go ahead, dive in. Do I want to use this deck for Bird? Do I want to use this deck for Virgo? Mm, I guess I already got it out. Let's go ahead and get into it. But look, what's going on with Virgo? What does Virgo need to know? What does Virgo need to know? Never again. Never. Never. Ever, ever. Ever, ever. Like that type of never. Never, ever, ever. Right? Whoever this person was with this broken heart energy, Berg, yeah. That tower. It was a tower moment in your life. It was so unexpected. But something is coming in for you, Berg. Something good. Something that you least suspected. But look how, how much you've grown. Look how she's just chilling in the crib, feeling good, doing self-care, self-love things. And then, boom, here come the mailman with something for her. Something that she don't expect to come in for her. So you got something coming towards you, Berg. 
Okay, why is broken heart here? Somebody need to sit their ass down, bro. <laughs> Somebody need to sit down, cause for them it was all about winning. You were a prize. Did you know this, Ferg? Somebody like you don't come around in this person's life very often. So you were like a prize to them. Like your 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 mentality, your spiritualism, um, who you are as a person, like your most inner deepest self was like a prize like for some reason this person made you feel like they were superior or something to you like you were inferior to them but all along they knew exactly who you were bird so that's why their insecurity is the reason why they hurt you okay I feel like you you like this bird. I only I think I had a quote a couple weeks back that said you don't even know how you light up rooms when you come in or something like that. And this is you, Virg. When you step in, you light up rooms. You know, Virgos, let's be honest. Okay, I am a Virg. Okay, I've never been called. Damn, you are so beautiful. Damn, you are so gorgeous. Damn, you are so. No, what do I get? And I eat it after all these years. I get, damn, girl, you so sexy. <laughs> and I'll be like, <sighs> the one, if I ever meet a guy, right? And they tell me, like, I'm beautiful. I know that they really see me versus see my exterior. You know what I mean? But this is you lighting up rooms wherever you go for. You you stand out, you're meant to shine. Like I said, this is one of the reasons why they broke your ass down, Bert. Too much high self-esteem. Too much confidence. They didn't like it. You could have ran into a player slayer. Oh, here we go. <sighs> we back to that, huh, Bert? We back to that. This was a narcissistic person. A narcissist. Yeah. Because, Virg, you've seen me forever with this person. Right? You really... You really, really love this person. Your cup overflowed for this person. You only had eyes for this person. You only had a heart for this person. Like, people be like, I love you. And that was another post I created one night. People be talking about they love somebody. Like... You know, I got a friend. She be like, yeah, I love him. I Man, she was just with so-and-so the other night. How you love him? <laughs> That's why he cheating on your ass. He know you don't love him, bitch. <laughs> but I'm just saying, that is not love. How can you love somebody and you land down with somebody else and then you talk about you love such and such? No, you may lust them. You may be really attracted to them, but love don't work like that, baby. Love, I have you somewhere in the corner, like, no, I don't want nobody else. No, I got somebody. Y'all can be broke up and say, oh, no, I'm good. I love him. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's kind of that vibe. But I feel like this was someone that you manifested, Bert. <clears throat> this was the person. This is why it's been also hard if you're not one of those people that dealt with the narcissist. This is also why it's hard for you to let this person go or was hard for you to let this person go because this is someone that you manifested. Um, this was a person who you felt like if you had a list of attributes and things or or, or uh, things that your person had to have or um, things that you wanted in your person um, for people you were dating, this is why it was like one of these people that's like, damn, I just can't let, let go that easily. I got to try to fight for this because this was something I manifested. Like, I know my manifestation ain't here just to go. Like, it came to stay, but I feel like it was, what did I say at the beginning? Um, a lesson, a blessing, um, a lesson, a blessing, or a challenge. Either way, yeah, it was hard when you found out how much this person was, like, playing with your energy. Like, you were just, 
Okay, this is this is Black Madonna HP uh, Tarot when truth matters and I gotta keep it real. You are just someone kind of for them to play with. They didn't expect to get feelings for you, Virg. But then they didn't know they was messing with a Virgo. But this is, you were just, you know, when they needed something to do, it was just something to do until you weren't, until you became like a, a factor in their life. Why is Cornucopia here? Why is Cornucopia here? And let's see. So, Bert, something you found out crushed everything about this situation with this cornucopia. You could have been living um, on cloud nine with this person, and suddenly this person changed on you. They switched on you. Something happened where it, like, came out the blue. Like, it was so unexpected. It just changed the dynamic of... Your relationship. I feel like you start scrambling, trying to figure out what the hell to do, like doing research, you're figuring out what the hell you done wrong, like trying to do whatever you could. I feel like you put a lot of work into this situation when you shouldn't have had Ferg. You know, you went above and beyond because you had this um, picture of you and this person together living happily ever after, having this um having this love, this uh, affection, this deep, long-lasting relationship or whatever. But I feel like this person became a headache. You could have had other people that wanted you, Virg, and wanted to be there to comfort you. But all you could see, like I said, was true love because you were really in love with this person. <laughs> Why is there two queens here, Virg? And it's a water sign energy. The person could have felt it too, Bert. Let's see, because caring connection is here. Like I said, they didn't expect to feel the way they felt about you. They kind of put a look in a swag. It's not a person that likes to feel this, these emotions. Let's see, what else? What else? Let's Somebody is lost without you now, Vert. Because it seems like you have elevated to a higher level of consciousness. And not only that, you doing things within your life um, outside of this person. Like, it was like the love you had for this person made this fire and kind of build you up and put you here where you're able to teach other people or um, you're an educator or you're you're a supervisor or something you're doing is to the level of it's going to benefit others like I feel like your intuition is on point like you get messages from the universe messages from God you get messages in your dream Virk it's like you you elevated Virk you're looking forward to like for some of you verbs, I'm feeling like family issues are coming up in your life at this time too. I feel like um, for some of you, this person missed being part of your family or miss the family holidays or, or things like that. Miss going, coming to barbecues or, 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 uh, or family events. They could like miss your parents. Or be reaching out to your parents or something like that, Virg. I keep... I don't know why in these tarot cards... October 31st is going to be very significant for the tarot community for some reason. This person been asking about you, Virg. They haven't seen you, so they're asking, where's Virgo? Because, see, you out here in the country, in the, the, wherever the hell you are, okay? And this person's in the city. Have you seen Virgo? I'm looking for Virg. Have you seen Virgo? Like, have you seen the one whom my heart loves? That comes from the Book of Solomon. They're like, no, we haven't seen Virgo. This person's in a King of Pentacles energy, which means that they are ready to, like, communicate, really tell you how they feel, try to make something happen, try to make somebody possible. But with this Ace of Swords energy, I feel like this can go either way. Either you're going to swing the swords and cut this damn person off, 
or it's going to be some type of communication. But I don't think you're going for no gains for this person. I think you are in a king of swords energy, queen of swords energy at this time, where your intuition, everything about your mental is on point, and you're not just accepting anything from anybody, right? So if this person is coming in in this energy, I don't feel like you're going. What day is circled on this calendar? No, Virg, it is not the 31st of August for you, babe. It is June 21st. Something very significant about June 21st. What's going on with Virg for June 21st, beloved? What's going on with Virgo for June 21st, please? What's going on with Virg for June 21st, please? What's up with Berg for June 21st, please? Oh, wow. You have the chariot. The high priestess. The five of swords. And the page of cups. You know what song I'm hearing? Girl, you know I, I, I love you No matter what you do And I, I'm thinking of you However that song goes So it, obviously this is, this is someone Okay, this was the wintertime energy But as this spring come, as the summer hits It's like somebody is coming back in to write a wrong bird My thing about this too, Virg, is for whoever this person is, they're following their intuition. They tired of the silence between you and them. Like, it's deafening for them. You know, silence is a cold piece because silence is drive somebody crazy. Try sitting alone by yourself in a smart room with nothing else to do but be in your thoughts. Silence can be deafening at times. Like, even though it's just silence, it could kill you if you aren't, like, one of those people that know how to meditate or or just be with yourself, right? But, yeah. The other thing I'm getting verged is you could have a new car um, around that time. Or if you got a new car, you that car might break down. You might have to get some repairs or something. Some of you guys could be traveling. But I'm mainly getting, since this is coming out for this Karen connection, is you got someone talking about, girl, you know I, I love you. So male and female, take it how it applies. Yeah, whoever this King of Pentacles energy is, Berg. What else does Berg need to know, please? What else does Berg need to know? The Nine of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, the Fool, and the Ten of Wands. You know what? As hard as it may be for someone, they hate to see you like this, Bert, honestly. Because they feel like you have so much love to offer. And they just can't believe that they left you in this type of situation for somebody else to snatch your ass up, right? This is what is going to be the thing that makes them come your way in June. Because they know, like I said, don't we going back to the beginning of the reading. Okay? They know. They always have put you on a pedestal and always thought of you highly, Bird. But here is the T he he. Remember this reading started out never ever again or never again. Or never, ever, ever, ever. So my thing is, Virg, is this that never, ever energy where you are never, ever going back to this person for all that heartache and pain that they cost you? Things that make you go, hmm. Either way, Virg, that's the message I have for you. I thank you so much for tapping into Black Madonna HP's Table Etiquette. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Till next time. Love, peace, and so take care, Bert.